Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Wolfrax series. It's been a few days uh, because I've taken a little bit of a break. However, I am back and we're here with the next episode. Before we get into today's episode, we will, I just want to say if you do enjoy the content, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And consider becoming a member, it does help me out. So where were we? Well, we were defending Soul from invasion forces. Uh, specifically invasion forces that keep appearing in the soul system uh, and we've had great success at holding them for now uh, I believe and most people have talked to me uh, have told me believe that the reason for these incursions is primarily because of the wrecks within the system we will have a new Balaban class vessel done here shortly in which case we will use that to begin salvage operations of the wrecks that are in the system for now we need to meet the threat in the field we have a nitro class likely two other uh escorts providing escorts for it and so what i will do is i'm going to order the callisto to go and deal with the threat uh, the callisto is more than capable with dealing with it um and i don't i am not too too afraid of that oh you're orbiting kareem uh that's uh bad then we'll have to get one of your carrier strike groups yes we're out of ammunition there uh carrier strike group three no ammunition either uh ground trading in terms of our ordnance stockpiles we have 13 lcrms because we did pause construction and that's another big issue that's coming along is obviously our galasite income uh we're trying to mine more and more galasite but it's obviously causing us problems i'm going to get as much galasite purchased and sent to earth as we humanly can get uh so i'm going to look at my cmc see what i can find see any high accessibility amounts so 10 CMC, so that's 560 tons. That's, uh, yeah, let's purchase these minerals, ship them to Earth. Uh, don't purchase those. No purchase of those. You don't have enough, so we won't purchase those minerals. And we'll purchase those minerals and then ship them to Earth as well. And that should hopefully bring in more Galasite, which we desperately, desperately, desperately need to maintain ourselves. So in terms of that, we don't really have uh, the strike group capability ready to strike at the enemy just yet. Now, if I remember correctly, we go over to the race information. The flint classes are the longer uh, range ones. So I believe that we should be able to send out a superiority squadron to go deal with the enemy forces. In that uh, vein, we currently have uh, 24 F4s ready to go. So we will dispatch the eagles and the sparrows to begin immediate work to uh, disable the enemy vessels. Uh, so I'm going to have you join up here uh, with the eagles, join as a subfleet, and then you're going to head over towards the contact area, uh, follow contact. Um, in terms of our financial situation, because that's the only reason we weren't buying, uh, we do appear to be doing a lot better now that ship construction has gone down. But I'm going to need to begin construction of financial centers. Financial centers, of course, cost uh, only copper mine, and we have plenty of that. So we're going to need to obviously be getting as quick as we can. We also want to be liberating um, the cream colony. Uh, we currently have about 70,000 tons of ground forces on the moon. Uh, now, cream, if we go over to uh, Alpha. Uh, Kareem is a dwarf planet with Baron, so it should be a fairly easy planet to assault in comparison to what we faced earlier. Um, however, they'll have been there for a longer period of time. Um, we're currently awaiting to get our forces into a position where they are, they can be moved. Um, in that vein, we're training up a lot of infantry battalions right now. We're also going to need to train up uh, mechanized companies. I'm going to need to uh, replace the current mechanized company, so I'm going to delete the elements out of here, um, and we're going to put in... Uh, new uh, APCs because uh, we did manage to train up some new ones if I remember myself correctly. Uh, so these are a APC and then this is the new APC. Yeah, we did manage to train up new ones. So this will have 120 and then we will do 62 of the anti-vehicle uh, variants and then we will also put in of course the HQ as well and that gets us our mechanized companies all ready to go. I'm going to put in order that for uh, probably six more mechanized com or six more non-heavy mechanized companies to be trained up. Um, in terms of the vendorite cost as we're spending, we have plenty of vendorite still available. We'll have to ship that in eventually, but for now, it's not too much of an issue. Arrakis is also continuing its mining, and I want to get it into a position where we can start shipping those minerals out again. 
Uh, and so if I go over to our, uh, let's go to our freight squadrons. So you're not doing anything. You are doing stuff. You are not doing anything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have this, this fleet. So this is our mineral group. We're going to have you go over to, uh, go over to Zitomir. You're going to then uh, load all minerals until full. Then head back to Sol and then refuel resupply and then do this on cycle move orders. Uh, I am going to put on the yeah, Ed See, that's fine by me. All right, here goes our fighters. They should be on the way now. Uh, very, very fast, obviously. Away. Uh, they go 12,000 kilometers per second. Enemy ship is inbound. Uh, let's make sure active sensors are on for the uh, fighter squadron. Active's on. And we are now on the way. Let's turn and make sure active sensors are on. There we go. And then let's have a look at the target. Squadron coming in. We should get updated uh, contacts. Uh, fluent class detected above series. Uh, that is concerning. Uh, Nitro is fleeing. Nitro is fleeing. Two Flint class vessels are its protector. We are going to get closer in first before we make any immediate uh, judgment. Okay, great six kin class as well there. So it's got both of those. We're going to have to use all the weapons that we have. Now the problem comes with the fact that we don't have a lot of ammunition currently available. Uh, so I'm going to order Karishak Group 2 to head back to Sol and head to Earth with all due haste. Uh, Spirit Solution will have to just deal with what they can deal with. Uh, so I'm going to order... Uh, all fire should be directed towards the Great Sitting class vessel. Uh, open fire fire controls, assign fleet accordingly. Uh, and begin heading in to the area. Now they're going to complain a little bit about the uh, situation. We are going to lose fighters in this. Uh, so be aware of that. Here we go. Uh, there goes hits. Looks like uh, 072 held its ground. Okay, we opened up. We should be have opened up on the enemy vessel. New target speed, 28. That's good news. We did lose three ships doing that, though. And then we're going to redirect fire on to these guys. So assign fleet onto the Flint class vessels. 042, assign that sub fleet. And then begin chasing. Uh, now, we'll be getting away from the Great City, which will be a good thing. And then we'll be able to open up fire onto these other vessels here. Uh, we did not lose another ship yet which is good news we're continuing arm hits onto the enemy vessels we suffered two more f4 explosions uh, and then we were able to get penetrating hits now onto the enemy vessels uh, f4s looks like the sparrows took the brunt of the uh of the, of the issue uh, but we are now able to get penetrating hits in which is good news and we're going to continue to get those penetrating hits in as much as we can uh, that will have dropped the other one back uh, we just lost another F4. We need to redirect all fire now onto which one is this? Flint Zero. Uh, attack Zero Four Two needs to be the primary target from now. So Four Two, assign fleet, assign, and destroy the enemy ship if we can here. Okay, that has dropped out as well. Uh, they've all been largely speaking disabled, which is a good sign. We're going to then complete our run by opening up fire on to the Nitro class vessel, which I believe is a salvager. Uh, we just lost another F4 as well there. Um, I'm going to continue to hit uh, against this Nitro class vessel, uh, though we are sustaining some fire, uh, which is unfortunate. And likely that vessel will be destroyed as well. There we go. But we are able to now penetrate through and enemy ship destroyed. We will then evac the area. Uh, so we lost in total uh, uh, five, six, eight, uh, not eight, nine F4s for that engagement. But we managed to destroy a large enemy contingent, which was very, very good. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to send in. Uh, let me see what I have available. So Gash Rocky 1, we currently have these ships available. I'm going to send in the Shore Squadron. Uh, Cruisers, how much armor do you have? You have four layers of armor. Destroyers, how much armor do you have? You have three layers of armor. Okay, I'm going to send in armor status. Stefano's not ready. However, we can send in, and I'm going to send as part of that, the Ariel. We're going to have them go in against the contacts. So, move to location. 
and uh, we are going to make sure your active sensors are on and available. And then we're going to have the F4s uh, head over to the Flint 041 and go figure out what's going on over there. Uh, of course, we did lose quite a few ships during that engagement, uh, but uh, we are going to now head towards contact zero. Um, yes, we did lose. It looks like we lost that contact over at Ceres, so we will uh, now do waypoints. And if we find nothing, then we will just head back to Earth. Oh, yes, we probably do need to cease fire. Contact we established with 0041 looks so like they are still over Ceres. Uh, cease fire our F4s. Cease fire the fleet. And begin heading back towards... Uh, keep heading in that direction. Uh, with our cruisers, they should now be heading as well in the proper circumspect. Contact we established with 043. Again, it is still going to be sat there. Uh, so what we can do... Uh, is I'm going to put a waypoint over onto that wreck area. I'm going to order Destroy Squadron 1 to continue moving towards that waypoint, um, and they should pick up the target as needed. There goes Destroy Squadron 1. They're on the way. And, ooh, F4s cannot complete. They must have had their fuel tanks blown up. Oh, actually, we're just completely out of fuel anyway. I should have realized the distance. Involved. Okay, carry strike one. Go to the Eagles location. Pick them up. That was an oversight by me. Uh, move to location. Pick them up. And now the Shore Squadron one is on the way as well over there. Uh, we still have destroyers available. Um, okay, we picked up the contacts. That's fine by me. Now we don't have much ordnance actually within this force. We have thirty six Arashis though, which we can use. Uh, the Short Squadron 3 is orbiting Earth, doesn't have much. The Short Squadron 2, however, is orbiting Arrakis, and that has a lot of ordnance. The Short Squadron 4 is also orbiting, doesn't have much ordnance as well. We need to get enough Galaxy to restart those, uh, those the production uh, capacity that we're going to need. Uh, we are mainly using shipyard tasks, uh, but also ordnance. Yeah, we, we, are, we are holding on those ordnance orders until we can get more, more Galaxy. All right, that's a flint class vessel just sitting there. Uh, so we will probably use the ordinance on that. It's moving at 4,000 kilometers per second now. That's 401, so it linked back up. Um, I don't have a squadron available to kill that. Uh, carrier strike group 3, what do we have available for you? We have uh, F4s, F3s. We will order the F3 squadron to go intercept. Now, these guys go the fastest of any ship. Uh, we will follow that contact and we will turn actives on and we will have them begin intercept progress. Um, now, yeah, that's it's going to be some distance, but uh, if I get them over to waypoint number three, uh, they should be able to reach the AO uh, in pretty quick time. Uh, okay, now what are we seeing here? So we've got the flint that was lost. That's the lost contact. Um, lost our ship contact detected. Uh, we established on 043, so yeah, they're still sitting there. We can see them just fine. So we will open up uh, missiles at them as needed. Uh, so let us open up against... That one is obviously less damage, so that is... Uh, looks like 733 tons. So order up ordnance. The uh, Ariel has most of the ordnance available at the moment, so we'll auto assign its fire control. Missiles are ready to go. Um, so obviously, we don't have that many missiles available, so I'm just going to uh, unassigned weapons onto that. Um, yeah, we don't have that much ordnance actually available for our missiles, um, so I'm going to take it off. So we have this much ordnance. Let's move you down. Let's move you down here. And then let's move these guys over to this one. Okay. So this gives us how many? This gives us 18 launchers. Um, which is plenty. Okay, and we're back. So what we're going to do is we're then going to assign targets accordingly. So we will do Flint 042, and then we will do Flint 043. Uh, we will put fleet, oh, fleet Sync Fire on. We will open fire onto 42 because that seems to be disabled. Um, 
least according to this, it seems it seems to be uh, it seems to be disabled. Though if I have a look over at the cruise, I think that's because I sent it to a different fire control. Yeah, I did. Okay, uh, take these off. Put this on this other fire control, uh, and then change target, and then we just order to that to be used instead. So Flint 043. And then order open the fire fire control. So their missiles should now lock in. There we go. Missiles are away. Um, and then we're just going to put ceasefire on. Missiles away. Contact re-established with a flint. That's fine by me. And ordinance coming in. Boom. 17 nuclear detonations. The other flint was hit, it looks like. Um, no, we achieved 17 hits. We shot against the same vessel. Um, that's not what I was wanting to have happen. Uh, how many? We have five Arashis currently left, so I'm going to assign uh, some Arashis to fire then. Uh, let me go into AN. Uh, yeah, we'll, fi we'll fire, I don't know, maybe three, four. No, fi we'll fire the remaining five Arashi missiles at the Flint. I don't want to risk getting close to it um, if I don't have to. Fire, open fire, fire control, missiles away. And we should see a good impact here. Boom. Four penetrating kits. Well, that's at least softened up, and we did confirm that it has weapons still available. Uh, we will move in against the contacts. We will move in against 042. Follow at 45,000 kilometers. Uh, follow at 45,000. And uh, get within range to open up fire onto it. Now, the good news, however, is that we did manage to at least do a lot of damage to it. We've also disabled the other enemy vessel. Uh, the Great Sitkin still sits there, though, so we will destroy that ship first as priority. So follow at 45,000. They should not be able to hit us from that distance. So they might still be able to... Yeah, that's the issue, is that they might still be able to hit us there. So we will, we will move in, and we will see what the... Uh, if we if we get hit by the enemy vessels from that distance. Uh, Destroyer Squadron is coming in. And Thermal Signature Detected. Okay, and they were closing within range. Now, we got 60 kilometer per second weapons. See if the, that flint still is going to do damage to us or not. Again, we're closing in. Okay, we're nearly within range against the Sitkin. So, we will open up with all of our ordnance onto that. So, let me go over to Ceasefire Fleet. Let me go to 150 millimeter cannon. And uh, we will order that to open fire on the uh, Great Sitkin. Uh, fire ope. Open fire fire control. And then all of these guys we're going to assign a the 155mm cannon onto. Uh, so same target. Assign fleet. And then over here we actually have a few more rail guns in comparison. So we're going to do assign all of these. Is the 144. Great Sitkin. Open fire. Assign fleet. Open fire fleet. So that should open fire everything, including yeah this one. So we should see those those uh, weapons uh, come on in. Waiting for other ship. We just need to wait for the other ships to uh, ready themselves, which is going to take quite a bit of time apparently. Uh, defensive, yeah, you're fine. Cease fire, fire, control, cease fire, fire, control, sign, fleet. Ah, screw waiting. Uh, fleet sink fire, fleet sink off. Fire when ready. Explosions and enemy ship destroyed. All right. Now we will resolve all of the weapons onto the flint. And onto flint. And then onto the flint as well. Uh, begin heading towards contact. 45,000 kilometers should be the distance that we remain. And then we will open fire from that distance. Enemy ship destroyed. There we go. Good job to destroy squadron one. Uh, we've located the flint west of us. So we're going to go hunting. Uh, so waypoint this up. And then uh, hopefully we can bring peace and finally get to uh, some other plans for tonight. All right. On the way. Let's go have a look at if there's any enemy contacts. We did destroy those vessels though, which is very, very good. And uh, contact we established. So that contact is in that direction. So I'm going to order... Uh, the Fighter Superiority Squadron, uh, which should be in Carry Shot Group 2, 
to the eagles yeah yeah you guys are fine so you guys have 15 left you you need to get back to your ship um if i go over to the third carry strike group which had the crafts on it uh so this is the guardians of arrakis by the way um they're the best fighters in the fleet or best beam fighters anyway uh, we are going to have them, again, head to new waypoint, waypoint number four, um, with all due haste, as quickly as they can. Again, we are losing contact, but we are we are figuring out where they are, which is uh, very good for us. Um, so far, no detections of enemy ship. And we are going to continue to move in this direction. Enemy ship detected between us. Uh, so let's have wait, this waypoint go up and we will order the Guardians of Arrakis to continue to head in that direction. Cario group has reached uh, the AO there. So we're going to have them join back up into where they should be. Now, of course, we did lose um, nine fighters doing that operation, uh, but uh, it was a price worth paying. Okay, enemy ship is now there. So I'm going to order carry strike group number one to begin heading, not carry strike, destroyer squadron number one to head in that direction. I'm also going to order the fighter squadron to head into the new direction as well, um, as quickly as possible. Let them sit there for now. Uh, we can then relaunch the eagles, which are now ready. And we're going to send them back to waypoint number six. So have them launch. Okay, ship has been detected below. So let's move us to that waypoint. So Spear Squadron 11. I think you guys will have the honors of destroying the enemy ship. Um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem for you guys because these are not as capable. Uh, no detection yet. We will await. Okay, they're just to the west of us now. We should be able to get directly onto the enemy ship just within the moment here. So let's just waypoint 8. No ship detected. It's uh, it's still popping in and out. Well, uh, Spirit Squadron 1 is on the way now. And we will be awaiting. No ship detection yet. You have a pretty big radar on this. So we'll have to wait. Contact we established. It, it's behind us now. <sighs> For God's sakes. Um... That is a very, very annoying. Okay, we're going to send the Shore Squadron 1 home. The Shore Squadron 1, join up with Carry Strike 1. Join fleet. Carry Strike 1, return to Earth. Uh, you need to actually be assigned as a sub fleet. Uh, Eagles, land back on the Carry Strike group. Uh, you, land back on your Carry Strike group. And everyone just let's get back to base. Uh, because we can't continue to just chase that forever. Uh, so that's what we will do. We've lost contact with the flint. It left. We'll let it, we'll leave it to where it goes. Um, but no, let's uh, contact re-established. Again, it's just sitting out there, which is really annoying me. Let's go to Squadron 3 and 4. 1, 2. The Shore Squadron 3 and 4. We're going to leave it to you guys to go find, to deal with it. Because I am, I'm getting tired of this. Uh, we actually, no, three, yeah, three and four. Go to waypoint nine. Go to waypoint ten. Okay. Find that craft and keep lock of it. Okay, three hour increments. Now it's within LCRM range and it's sitting behind us. Okay. Fine. Dispatch the. Guardians of Arrakis to go and destroy that ship. Contact. Detected. Follow. Destroyer Squadron 3 and 4. Go back to Earth and keep your radar locks on and find me that bloody target. Okay. It's heading in this direction. Okay. There it is. It's again right there. So I'm going to order the Guardians of Arrakis to head towards Destroyer Squadron uh, 4. Or oh no. Destroyer Squadron 3. Move to location. That should get it into the general AO. Okay, there's the other detection. We actually have it on resolution 10 sensors now. We just need to bring the short squadron 4 back towards this direction and we can destroy the enemy ship. Um, the short squadron 4 
waypoints. 11, move 2. Uh, Guardians of Arrakis, move towards waypoint 11 at full speed, please. There we go. We found enemy target. Good to see. Okay, F3s, waypoints, contacts. Go towards Flint. Follow contact. Go, 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 go. And now we are following contact. This should be the end of this vessel. Yeah, we're getting very, very close now. Weapons are ready to go. Sign weapons accordingly. 127mm cannons are ready. Assign fleet. Open fire fleet. And uh, go in and destroy the enemy ship as soon as you can get in there. Here we go. We already took some fire. We are holding though. Ship destroyed. Uh, we lost one F... Oh yeah, no, that was our ship destroyed. But we managed to get penetrating kits in. 12 more penetrating kits. 14 penetrating kits. We got a secondary power explosion. Enemy ship destroyed. We lost one F3 for that. Uh, but good job to that squadron. Have you land back on your mothership. And let's get the destroyers back to port as soon as possible. Um, because they have done their duty. Unfortunately, without missiles, we are having a lot of problems. But we did manage to fight back the enemy forces with just fighters, primarily speaking. Um, losing very few actual fighters. Uh, Guardians of Arrakis have landed back. We complete. We we gain. Oh, salvaging! Yes, we are completing salvaging now. Uh, we gained research points into EM sensor activity. We've got a bunch of ion drives, uh, thermal sensors, res sensors. Um, as we begin to pick stuff up, uh, which is really really good. Uh, now salvage a Balaban. If we go over to our thing over here, that's that capacity gets filled up pretty quick. However, if we do add some freighters uh, to this, which I should, we should have some available. Yeah, we do. I'm going to detach this freighter here, and I'm going to have them, uh, honestly, I'm going to detach two freighters, because we've just got so many um, stuff to salvage. Go into Alpha uh, Fleet, and go into Zizomir, and then join up with Balaban, and you can act as a salvager there, which is uh, really, really nice. But no, we are, we are now salvaging these wrecks. We're salvaging our F4 wrecks. And this will clean it up and make these raiders come back a lot less. Uh, but no, we are we are salvaging these these components, which we can then use to pay for new ships, uh, which we so desperately need to have happen here. Okay, what happened? What happened? Uh, expanded. We will cover new components, and we're also continuing our salvage operations here, primarily now on the uh, on those new uh, well, not newer, but we're on those. Alien vessels. Uh, no mobility portion have completed orders. Uh, Ordnance, Atashi, and Quebec. Much mining group. That's fine. And again, we're waiting for the salvage report here. There goes the salvaging. Uh, we recovered manic mayo fusion reactors, a bunch of minerals. Um, Terra Nova has changed to a jungle mountain world. Uh, let me go over to Terra Nova. That is in Minerva. Uh, Minerva, yeah. Is that because of the climate? Very interesting. Uh, yeah, again, the the main thing that's causing the dangerous atmosphere is the sulfur dioxide, but it's pretty much completely fine either way. Uh, but no, we are we are now managing to salvage these uh these these vessels, which is uh, very very useful for us. Balaban done. So what we're going to do is going to take that new Balaban class vessel and we're going to give it that anking and I'm going to put this and we're going to attach this and I'm going to bring this over to our uh, seat, uh, our space lift right over there. And uh, yeah, so she be I'm going to rename this to a uh, commercial salvage group one. And then we're going to do the exact same thing over here. We're going to call this commercial salvage group two. And I'm going to order this group to begin salvage operations within the system. Uh, so salvage nearest wreck, fuel loss of 50 percent, refuel at nearest uh, thing. But uh, yeah, go go uh, go salvage, my my man. And uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue for us. So um, bunch of research, 1,000 research points for ECM. We downloaded. Wow, that's fantastic. So we've been able to scan the data from these vessels and gain access to research into ecm which is something that we don't really have access to yet 
Um, so ECM warfare is under electronic warfare. And it's something that I want to actually dedicate some research to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin researching into electronic warfare capabilities. Because that is going to be very, very important for us. Uh, we are continuing to salvage more and more resources now. Uh, we scrapped the Great White, which is good news for us. Our industry, our mining, we are increasing our stockpile ever slowly, but we are increasing it. Uh, let me have a look now at our salvages. So we are uh, 334. You nearly have everything went out now. I should have moved over these guys over here. That'll take 19 days to arrive. So be a bit of time before you can. Uh, but no, cleaning the salvage up is very, very important because it means that the enemy ships won't come back, which is uh, ideally what we want to have happen. Okay, they joined up. We scrapped. Uh, five minutes storage bays. Repairs completed on Devonshire. I mean, it's called four, four years. Uh, what is your own soul system, Devonshire? Uh, you should be probably under a commercial freight group, I would imagine. Uh, the Quebec, Yucatan, the Devonshire. Yeah, you don't have enough. So, may supply points less than this. We should resupply overall at Colony, please. Okay, five research labs available. What happened? Did we research something? Joey and Fuel Harvested, you've been, you, you retired. Uh, research project was the ion drive. So, our, our scientists died, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to go back into this research and continue that. So, 945, and then let's do... Uh, military jump drive for the next thing um, again resources are now ticking back up um, which is great news for the galasite um, and we are starting our continuing our salvage operations as much as we can now let me get back to those balabans because they're really interesting i don't usually do a lot of salvage but there's just so much salvage from the from the wars um, and from the battles uh, so commercial salvage group one uh, so you have plenty of capacity now we've got so much stuff in here ECCM, electromagnetic sensors. We got two thousand galasite nearly in these in these uh, uh, things, which we can then use to produce new vessels. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to uh, hold off on restarting our galasite production until we get that back. I think. Commercial flight group done. Can that be overall as a class as a commercial vessel? Yes, I understand that. Um, that is a bit of a, that that does put a, uh, a little sting into my plan here then. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll, I'm going to have you then drop your escort squadron out. Um, drop your escort squadron out. And then hold here. Escort squadron, you're, gonna, you're going to begin your overhaul. And then the other vessels are good here. Ooh, a bunch of stuff here. We've got cloak sensors. So we've got additional research points for cloaking. Now, if I can recover some of these cloaks... We could potentially use them on some of our ships, uh, which would be a very cool thing. Uh, but no, if I if I look at that, so that's cloaking technology that we just got uh, additional help in. Um, we don't have cloaking theory yet, but uh, getting some of that is, is obviously very valuable for us. Uh, cloaking efficiency technologies we're, we're getting. Uh, we still got more Rex in this system. If we go to Alpha, they have no Rex currently available uh, in that system. Uh, if we go to Talos, we don't have any wrecks there. They've probably been cleaned up by the enemy. Uh, Zitomir has a bunch of wrecks again. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of wrecks. Um, and I'm going to order up another Balaban class vessel, which we should be able to do relatively cheaply. So we'll end up with one of those. Um, yeah, most of these systems um, are pretty much cleaned out. But a few of the systems that we were, we have been fighting in, uh, we've, been, we've been able to. Uh, so, can I set a standing order, by the way, for these groups to do standing orders? If cargo, I would look, if cargo hold is full uh, to unload. Um, yeah, if cargo hold full. I can't seemingly find that, but again, we, we, are, we are loading up a lot of stuff onto these. Uh, tech system data we've got loaded up on. Uh, ship components and minerals that we, we've been able to scavenge. Um, and we'll continue to scavenge from these wrecks. Um, Yank C class vessels. The first Luthien class carrier has completed construction. The JNS Luthien. Uh, and that's begin construction of the next vessel. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're going to see a lot of the Galasite here, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. So, we're going to begin the construction of the next Luthien class vessel. Uh, so, we're going to call this the JNS. The JNS Arrakis. 
and we'll get that into immediate production. But no, with the new Luthien class vessel, that's a big stepping stone uh, for us. The Luthien, as you may not know or may, may have forgotten, is our 60,000 ton new carrier, uh, which has a ton more capacity. Uh, its final strike group, if we go into the class design, its strike group for the Luthien will be 36 F4s, 12 F3Bs, two KC car, uh, one cargo tankers, um, and then uh, two P1 sensor graphs. Now, we're going to need a lot more missiles to do that. And so we're going to have to consider the recon uh, reconstruction of our technology there. We're also getting ordnance transfer rate and a bunch of other things, but that's a good first step. Uh, we currently have the blizzards available over here. Uh, we should be an escort to you, though we have this one as well. Um, that actually gives us a free yard. So I'm going to... For some reason, we... Oh, that's commercial. I know why. You know... We're going to construction on a blizzard cra uh, type crafts, which is what I am also going to do. We're going to begin construction on a blizzard. Uh, so let's get that into carrier group reserve. Carrier reserve. Let's get that on the way. But no, we're going to continue our operations here to get as much of these resources back from our older vessels. We are running out of capacity here. We're going to need to keep our maintenance facility construction on the way. And uh, yeah. We need to focus really on our economy. Uh, Nagato went out of fuel, expansions and mining complexes, and our financial situation is actually doing okay. It's doing okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, begin purchasing these minerals and shipping them back to Earth now. Uh, purchase more and more of these minerals because those are going to be very valuable in the later term. All right. Continuing to get more, Tusakani just finished up its tooling. I believe that was for the Aberdeen. We should be able to redo, re retool for the Aberdeen Block 2. How much will a refit for these Yangtze class vessels cost me? Uh, so refit from Yangtze to Yangtze Block 2. Um, yeah, so I want I want to refit from Yangtze to Yangtze Block 2. That costs 700, 375 Galasite per. That's a big expense um, because we're mainly replacing the engines on those. Uh, but no, we're going to have that another new Luthien, which is very, very good. And we are cleaning up these racks right now. Absolutely cleaning them up. Um, let's go over to our commercial salvage groups. Transportation. Oh my god, look at the, all the different components in here. Do we have any uh, cloaking that we managed to get? None of those. Um, what about over here? Not really. We did find a bunch of different kind of control systems. And we are continuing to salvage up more and more resources here. Uh, STO is trained on Earth, which is good news. Um, and we are continuing to salvage up through these vessels. Uh, what do we have on you then? Transportation. Uh, you have 1,427 Galasite. We have 5,000 Galasite. We'll be able to get back here. Um, bunch more... Yeah, you are, you are really wringing them out here with the amount of uh, different salvage we're being able to get from these. Production of mass drivers are done on Earth, which is good news. And we wanted to ship those over to Europa, if I remember myself correctly. Yes, we did. Um, so that is what I will do. I'm going to order civilian flights. I'm going to demand that... Uh, how many mass drivers did we build? We built three mass drivers. So I'm going to demand that two mass drivers be brought over. We will supply those mass drivers. And get them shipped. Uh, but the law also means that we have free construction. What I am going to do is we currently have on Earth not made deep space tracking stations. What I'm going to build, I'm going to build another 29 deep space tracking stations um, as quickly as possible. Um, purpose of which will be to extend our capacity. Now that'll take quite a bit of time, but we'll, we'll dedicate some more resources over to it. But now we're salvaging up all these resources, which is uh, fantastic for us. Production and maintenance facilities completed at Earth. Um, so we will then redirect those over to deep space tracking stations, um, which should drastically improve our detection capability within Sol system. Uh, Europa continuing to grow its population. It has a hundred, nearly 300 mines on it, and we are producing a ton of galasites from the world. Uh, we are now getting our stockpiles really back up here, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin resuming Arashi production. We're going to see how that works out for us see how production of new Arashi class missiles will do and uh, we are also going to be doing more production there do we have more f4s on the way we don't we went through a lot of those um they cause a lot of galasite per 
uh, but they're going to be very important. So I'm going to order up. Now for the camera strike, we're going to need 36 F4s to be produced. And I'm also going to produce 12 more F3Bs. And then we're also going to need... What is else is on the carrier strike group? Luthien. Two KC1s and then two P1 centigrafts uh, are going to be required here. Now for those, we're going to need to have you build two... Uh, so these are C1s, uh, but these are not really what I want. I'm going to need a new naval, sh new naval shipyards, really, generally speaking. Okay. We just cleaned up all those F2s. We're cleaning up the flints now, uh, which is good news for us. Let me have a look again at what we have available. Uh, we even got some launch rail velocities uh, research. Bunch of galasite. Uh, fuel consumption rate research, which we, we've unlocked. And then we'll also be able to dismantle all the components as well. Uh, another Megami class uh, supply vessel just finished up. So that is going to be very, very useful. That's going to be what we're going to need for... Uh, supplying our carrier groups um, and so what i'm going to do is we're probably going to retire the akagi from active service and we're going to move its squadrons over to the luthien so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move over the eagles so the eagles will become part of the luthien if i can so we're going to detach you we have the sparrows which are currently waiting but we'll detach you as well and we've also got the bluebirds so we'll detach them as well we're going to land them on to the um, in carrier reserve, we're going to land them on and assign them. Um, land them to the ship as squadron onto the Luthien. Then we're going to do the exact same thing over here, uh, with Luthien, and then we're going to do the exact same thing. And this will, we're basically just going to be replacing our old carriers as much as we can here. Um, as, as my mothership, uh, land on specify mothership as squadron, Luthien, Luthien. Luthien, and then yeah, those two will land accordingly. Uh, you guys are orbiting Earth. You are assigned to Luthien. Uh, yeah, the, you're the first Eagles, uh, but you need to actually join uh, land on specified mothership as squadron Luthien. There we go. That should have them all become part of the Luthien's fighter group. So that gives her. We need to get replacements. Um, Okay, how many F4s do we have available? Five F4s here, seven F3Bs there, some F4s here. So we need to, we'll, we'll bring these into the Sparrows. And then we're also going to need to grab whatever uh, F4s we have here, which should be enough. Or oh, no, it's not going to be enough, is it? Because it's only five. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'll drag out these older um F4s, so these F4s here, detach, and then we're going to assign them up to the Sparrows, that gives us 10 F4s, we need 3 squadrons of these by the way, plus the F3Bs, um, but we should be able to resupply from the carry now, which should be really, really useful. Continuing to salvage, uh, we've got con Grand Construction Rate just finished up improvements, which is fantastic news for us. Um, with that remaining, I'm going to start researching to Electronic Warfare capabilities. No, we'll keep that on the back burner for now. Um, I'll cancel the project, actually, and we'll, we'll put the rest into the, the getting us uh, better sense technologies. With the remainders, uh, we will begin looking at improving our mining and our research. Research especially, actually. We're going to begin re uh, we need to get those researches up. But grand source construction rate should dramatically improve our build times, uh, which should be really, really important for us here. Uh, no, salvaging up these. Those F2s just finished up. Uh, so they've gone now gone to grab these classes which is good um commercial salvage group one is here actually which is weird uh but we've got cat measure research gained um a bunch more salvage was found so let's have a look again back at those i keep doing it but i, I just love all these resources that they're getting in for us so you're currently in zitomir they're both in zitomir now look how much stuff this group has absolutely fantastic um just a ton, a ton of resources, um, which I'm then, we're then going to be able to ship back to Earth. But we are we are now gathering up those uh, those things we can find here of these flint classes. We retooled for the Aberdeen Block Two mining situation is again still resolving itself. We are going to resolve itself, so we can begin to go ahead. We now we we had some delays here, but we can begin refit processes. The Ariel and the Callisto will be have immediate refits. We will then refit the Yangtze Block Twos. 
so from Yangtze to Yangtze block two for the Ishikawi, the Mitsushi, and then two other Yangtzees, which I need to rename. Um, but no, we should be able to uh, here. We're currently using for shipyard tasks about 5,000 galasite a year. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm confident. Uh, there's a Mount Baycast, that was the bigger vessel. Uh, there's another salvage. Infantry battalion is being trained up. And uh, we're now continuing more. Okay, and uh, there we go. We got that. That was the Mount Baker. Bunch of different research from here. Uh, we searched for thermal reduction as well. Um, where are you heading towards? You're heading towards Nerox. Now, Nerox doesn't have any wrecks in it. Uh, so what I'm going to order for both of these groups to now do, turn off your standing orders. Turn off your standing orders. And then go back to Sol. And then unload all the ship components unload all uh minerals uh so yeah unload all minerals what, what else do you have your transmission data you have common information so yeah that's fine go back to earth you're going to talos yeah don't go to talos go to sol all the little ship commands unload all minerals and that should be a massive massive boon to us uh you don't understand how big of a boon that will be What's going on with the Jovian harvesters? Are we not being able to harvest up? It looks like we don't have enough harvesters on here. Um, okay, first off, transfer your fuel to the colony. Second off, I need those tankers now. I'm going to do this tanker. Uh, yeah, transfer the fuel to the colony, please. Okay, there we go. Transfer the fuel. Then grab this tanker. Plates, Jovian fuel harvesters, because we need to keep this fuel coming in. We fuel every, uh, what would that be, month? Then that would be, that would not be enough time. Uh, Jovian fuel harvesters, we fuel 35 days, that's every single month. And then transfer fuel to colony, and then cycle, oh no, don't, don't do that. Uh, we move last, zero, transfer fuel to colony, cycle move orders like that. Earth has plenty of resources, but we need to restart this maintenance supply production again. That's why we need that galaxite brought in as quickly as we can, because the maintenance needed for all of this is just humongous. Uh, humongous, humongous, humongous. Um, it really is quite impressive how much we need. Um, but yeah, we are obviously beginning our refits. Uh, ion drive research done. I don't remember which one that was for. We're still waiting on this engine. Uh, oh, DTGX, we got the research in for that, so we'll need a larger shipyard, obviously, for that uh, period. And then we also have DDDX, which we're waiting on this launcher system. Uh, the Haruna has gotten its uh, iron drive done then. Yeah, it has. Um, so with that power propulsion, we can begin research into those military gym drives, but we're actually going to hold off for that, um, because that's the last thing on my mind at the moment. Um, and I'm going to begin research into... Uh, the what was the engine that the frigate was using? Uh, ID eight hundred one sixty drive research RP uh, ID six hundred one sixty. I don't see that in the queue at the moment. Um, oh, it's the ID eight hundred. Ah, my bad. Uh, get that into get that under research immediately. Actually, please. So power propulsion research ID eight hundred. That'll be quite a bit of time before we get that on the way. Uh, but uh, so far, so good. Let's go back to Sol and see, have we begun unloading uh, our resources, which uh, we are waiting for our commercial groups to arrive back at the colony. Infantry battalions are trained up. There are a bunch of infantry battalions now ready with three regiments currently sat there. Uh, we're going to need... Um, we're going to need to get stuff moved around here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to ship out some replacements for this tank division. So we need replacements for three regiments of forces, uh, including a MERS, including everything else. Uh, and so what I will do is I will set aside a bunch of uh, different resources here. So we're going to take this element, so a map pop-up, sure element. So we have more stock than what we have out here. So usually they'd have three infantry regiments. Those three infantry regiments would have... 160 vehicles per, so we should be able to get full replacements for these. These infantry regiments, 145, 145, so we're going to need probably 80 vehicles, so we will move over 
uh, military time, we'll move over 80 of these logistics vehicles. Um, these are the new PWI forces. Now, these infantry regiments, these battalions, have 2,000 infantrymen uh, currently within them. Uh, they should have about 450 uh, and 3,600. So we're going to need about, probably they've probably taken 50% casualties, right? Yeah, about 50% casualties. So we're going to need probably two sets of infantry battalions worth of, uh, of stuff to replace um, everything. Um, well, no, right? Yeah, you've lost, no, you've lost a lot more than that. You've, you've lost basically two, two battalions worth. Okay, that's two battalions worth. Another two battalions. And then that, they've lost another two battalions-ish. Uh, but they've lost a lot more logistics vehicles, if we can see here. So they've lost another 80. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more logistics vehicles than I expected here. So we're going to move back over there. And I'm going to move 120 logistics vehicles. We're going to move all of the infantry. Uh, and, and that, we're going to send over uh, three, uh, I would say, three battalions worth of forces. I'm going to just stack all of these together, as well as 200 logistics vehicles. Okay, done. Uh, that's about 50,000 tons. Um, yeah, about 50,000 tons of forces we'll, we'll send over um, in shipping. So that's what I will do. I will rename this to Reserves uh, Infantry, and I'm going to Infantry Reserves, and I'm going to then order for the military sea lift. Uh, mobility squadron one, squadron two. Uh, so these guys should have enough capability to do it. So this is a Kaku M's. Uh, I'm going to detach a single one of you. I'm going to detach the Cullfish. Uh, detach you. You're going to load up the reserves. Uh, infantry reserves. Bring them over to Zitomir. Bring them over to Arrakis. Unload forces. Go back to Sol. Refuel. Um, and that should get us those new forces brought back over. Uh, which is good for us. Okay, we've got a bunch of... Oh, did we unload? Looks like we might have unloaded. Yeah, we did. We are unloading. We completely switched into active graphs and strength because we've just gotten so much into that. Uh, research downloaded for that research. So if we get look at sensor fire controls, um, we're getting a bunch of different discounts off here um, for a lot of this, this different research. Um, okay, we should have... Brought all of that in now. Uh, salvage group one is done. Let's have a look at salvage group two. So you just unloaded. Good. You are still unloading all of your resources. You're you're still uh, quite a few time a days out, uh, but should be able to begin. Did you unload everything? Yes, you did. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot in our stockpiles right now. We can begin to scrap. So, uh, let us. We're gonna scrap um the cells so we're going to scrap these components those go two transport bays we can scrap those uh these thermal uh arrays here we can disassemble these so that's what i will do i'll disassemble those and once i disassemble those and then i'm going to scrap these components so that gets us research into thermal sensitivity eight, which is the research that they have access to um, it's not the one we have, it's the next level, uh, which is obviously quite a bit away. Uh, we're going to scrap these maintenance storage, uh, bays. We're going to get the, disassemble, disassemble all of those magnetic mirror fusion drives. Uh, so scrapping gets us resources and then also, um, we scrap those, we retain minerals, um, and we're getting more technologies as well. But let's continue to go through. Uh, military jump drive, let us scrap those because uh, we don't need them. Uh, so scrap. Uh, these, these engines, we can scrap all of these components. We can scrap this. We can scrap gravitational service sensors, geological service sensors. Uh, this power plant, this power plant, the fire maintenance storage bays. We can disassemble uh, all of these EM sensors. We can disassemble the ECM and ECCM. The these components can be scrapped. The commercial ion drives, which we've now found, we can disassemble those. Uh, the combat information center, we can disassemble. The beam fire controls, which are new, we're going to disassemble all of these beam fire controls. We're going to disassemble all the auxiliary controls. 
we'll scrap our components. Boom, boom. Also, we now have a bunch more Rashis, which is great news. Uh, we're going to scrap. We're going to disassemble these. We're going to disassemble this, this, and this. We're going to disassemble the 20 centimeter railguns. Same with the 10 centimeter. And then we'll scrap these remaining components. Okay, so let's have a look at what we gained from that. So, we gained thermal sensitivity tech, a bunch of resources from all of these different engines, okay? We gained research from the EMs into a bunch of EM sensitivity technology, which is fantastic for us. Um, we gained a bunch of research into EM and ECCM. We gained a bunch of research into electromagnetic navigation sensors. We gained a bunch of research into fuel consumption, uh, 0.6, a ton of research into that. Uh, we gain information to combat information centers. We gain a ton into uh, beam fire control technologies, a bunch of auxiliary, and then we also gain some into uh, into AN. So this is an active sensor strength, uh, an EM sensor strength, a bunch into railgun launch velocities, um, and then also we recovered some minerals here. So if we go into our sensor fire controls technologies, we've gained like three thousand RP off that. Uh, we've also pretty much got an EM sensitivity 6, uh, which is great news. Uh, so I'm going to cancel this project for now. And if we look at the 4,000, yeah, we, we've gained that that off. Um, but no, we've got auxiliary control pretty much done. Active craft and strength pretty much done. Um, bunch, a bunch of stuff pretty much done here. Um, so we're going to go again. We're gonna, I'm going to focus all the lines on electronic warfare, really. But that's pretty damn big for us. And that's also recovered us a lot of minerals, including a lot of galasite, a lot of galasite in which we actually need. Um, and we're using a lot of maintenance supplies right now. Okay, we're gonna, I'm also going to resume construction of LTRMs. We're resuming construction of Arashis. Uh, we should have ordnance production rate coming up here shortly. Uh, this is all fantastic for us. Another Malaman complete uh, construction. Uh, and we are, conti again, continuing those refits, which is really, really important. Um, Banaras, Block 2, Salvagers, Convoy Escort. Um, again, I need that 1,000 ton here, and I want also the frigates to get online. Uh, I'm going to order Control Capacity Upgrade this to 12,500, because that's going to be the size of the the, the yard we'll need. Um, we'll also need another 10,000 ton yard, realistically speaking, for our other destroyers to refit those. Um, and we are building that Luthien up, which is on the way. We are also building more missiles now, and uh, that is really, really going to be helping us out here. And we're growing our economy back, uh, which is important. Uh, so let's have a look at ground forces. Did we manage to get those reserves moved over? No, we haven't yet, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, but uh, we are, we are uh, awaiting. We are getting our fortification up as well for a lot of our different formations to fortification level 6, which is uh, very, very good. And five days. Incrementing along here, production of infrastructure done on Earth, which is good news. The remainders I'm going to put into. Uh, so right now we're currently mining, but not enough. We need to mine more, um, and so I'm going to order up construction of another 200 uh, mines to be built, uh, and I'm going to then just we'll just cancel this and we'll just put this at 60%, 60% modify, and then we'll put in 201 mines to be built out. Uh, again, we're refitting all these designs now uh, to what we are expecting. Um, we'll refit those initial designs, but we'll probably want to construct completely new ones, to be honest, uh, instead of doing a refit. Uh, infantry battalions done on Earth. Reserves are now here. We're going to use these for replacements, um, which should work for us just fine. And then also over here, we got these regiments, but we're getting, yeah, we need those regiments trained up here. Uh, regimental headquarters, uh, 10,000 tons. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. That'll take a year about each. Because the construction rate has really massively increased, um, which is helping out a lot uh, right now. Okay, how have the replacements worked? Yeah, there we go. They've all been replaced beautifully. So you, so these guys now have a lot more infantry coming in, but we need another big stockpile. So this is nearly full strength, um, but we don't have his EM Moors, but we, this infantry regiment is pretty much full strength and ready to go. 
Uh, this infantry regiment is not. We need more and more APCs. And we're going to need more uh, infantry. However, we have plenty of logistics vehicles now for all these vessels. So we replaced all the logistics, which is fantastic news. Um, we need to get more forces moved over there and get those replacements in. So that's what I will do. I will begin moving those replacements over. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, so we could, we don't really have any mechanized companies available at the moment. If we look at the war stock, we do have a more APCs which we can use to replace, which is what I will probably do. So I'm going to put a mount pop up, uh, show elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out um, these amours and then I'm going to put them in this infantry battalion. So a more APC and then a more APC AV, and then I'm also going to take out. I'm going to put in another. 2,500 infantrymen, as well as their colonels. And I'm going to then rename this to reserves again. And we're going to ship that over um, to Arrakis for immediate replacements as needed. So if we go to our troop transport, we should have that available. Go to Earth, load up uh, the reserve formation, and then head back to Zitomir, and then unload those ground forces, then head back to Sol and do a refueling operation. 240 days for that. Um, and then what we're probably going to do is we're going to move forces out from Zitomir um, as needed. Now, the Luthien is currently sitting here pretty much not ready yet because uh, we have to get four, uh, fighters moved over. We're currently producing F4s. Uh, we need another um, 14 F4s, uh, which we should have now. Um, so, five, 14 F4s there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach two of these and I'm going to put them into the sparrows. So sparrows now have 12, you have 12. And then the remainders are going to go into a new squadron, uh, which we will, uh, I believe, I forget which one this will be called. We'll, we'll, we'll start with, um, we'll rename this to Superiority Fighter Squadron. Uh, we'll do 18 and we'll call these the Luthien Guards and uh, then we will have them uh, join uh, the carry strike group as a squadron uh, not carry strike group but carry reserve more more simply in a squadron and then we're going to need to rename these guys to strike fighters so strike fighter squadron 1 there we go and then we're just waiting for some other stuff, but we'll nearly have a full-on looting class carrier ready to go. Um, of course, we'll have to wait a little bit on that. Um, maintenance supplies, we need to restart product, uh, construction on that, but uh, no. Projected usage now for Galatite is, uh, is actually going pretty well for us at the moment. And uh, we're moving a lot of stuff around. Okay, um, but no, we'll be able to get those ground forces moved over, which shouldn't be, how much, you know, those infantry reserves are going to take a while to get there, which is kind of the problem. It does take a while. LCRM's done on Earth, but we just need the, uh, actually, I'm going to cancel Arashis. What we need is new Arashis. So if we go over to the Arashi missile, because we have Ion Tech, we can actually get new ones. So we're going to call these SM8A um, or B. Um, Arashi, and we will, yeah, new a new uh, development. Wait, this design. We're going to cancel construction on those Arashis for now until we can get the new ones, the SM8Bs. Uh, so I'll grab five labs from you, and we will put that into immediate research um, because that's going to be very, very important. Ordnance production should also be done somewhat shortly, um, and we are continuing our massive construction effort to um, to get these replacements done and ready for uh, everything that we need. Commercial Fight Group 2, you guys can hold your uh, position for now. We're going to have you head back to Earth. Um, we should now have a ton of infrastructure on Europa. Yeah, Europa now is, is doing great. Um, it's mining 8,000 tons of resources and shipping that Galasite straight to Earth, uh, which is what we really need. Okay. And uh, five increments. We refitted a bunch of vessels, so a bunch of Block 2 Yangtze's there. Um, and now we're going to begin the construction efforts on new Yangtze Block 2's. Um, Ideally, well, no, we don't want construction on more. We want to refit and then build the newer DDGX. Um, so we'll continue our refit efforts. 
Yangtze is the Yangtze block two, one, two, three, four. Uh, and that, there's no more Yangtze, sir. Uh, we'll have to bring back the other destroyer squadron for the refit efforts. Oh, our wealth situation has changed. Yeah, that's because of the maintenance um, requirements. So actually, I'm going to take away 30% from here, modify, and we're going to bring in production of financial centers. Uh, production of 100 financial centers at 30% capacity. Get that up as much as you can. Um, and again, we're trying to improve our economic situation here. Um, Blizzard, we're just constructed now. That is our newest. Um, if we go over to the uh, carrier group, the, the Blizzard is our newest escort carrier. And that carrier uh, can hold uh, 18 uh, F4s. So it, it's the newest, it's the best. Um, it's got the newest engines, newest speeds, um, and it can keep up with the competition. So we will order up another one immediately to be produced, the JNS Vortex. We'll get that underway. And uh, yeah, five day increments on the way for us here. We might be ending the episode here soon. It's been, a, it's been quite a bit of time. But yeah, our racial wealth situation is not looking great. Okay, do we get the ground forces moved over? No, we haven't yet. But once we do, I do feel pretty confident. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have commercial freight group. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have carry strike group 2. Go to alpha. First off, refuel resupply. Uh, oh, you're you're refitting some of these vessels, yeah, because we've got some Yangtze Block Twos in here. Uh, but no, what we'll have Carry Strike Group One isn't really in a position to do anything right now. Uh, Luthien is available, uh, but if I, I'm going to take the Akagi out, put that into reserve, bring the Luthien up, uh, and then I'm also going to switch out the squadron. There we go. You are refitted. You are not refitted. Um. And then we haven't, we need to finish repairs on that as well. Uh, we will refuel, resupply, load ordnance. Uh, we'll have to let this guy go for now until we get more vessels available. Uh, you have a Yangtze Block 2 within you. You have the 001. Uh, so tap you there. And then I'm going to have you guys refuel, resupply, load ordnance. Who is in, who is in the shipyard? The active. The Aberdeen, ah, yes, because you're getting a refit, aren't you? Um, should be our tasks. That refit will be done shortly. We'll then move you out. But no, I, need, I want to get the mobility squadron moved. Uh, no, mobility squadron one. Head to Zetomir, head to Arrakis, because we'll, we'll move those ground forces away um, as needs arise. Um, hey, I'm trying to on Earth, which is good news. Um, and then let us, let me think, uh, have we managed to move those ground forces over? Not yet. Okay. Training, more training is occurring. How is the Galasite situation? Let's continue to monitor that situation. We are still maintaining our Galasite. Uh, production is reaching a bit above. However, we are doing okay. Uh, we're going to have the second looting the JNS Arrakis done here shortly, and then we can continue that construction effort. We'll have those refits for the Ariel and the Callisto done, um, and we are full force on that research, um, which is good news. Okay. Again, the wealth situation is not looking too great here, but we did just have these reserves now arrive, so I can begin to have them be replace the existing forces. Uh, which shouldn't take too much long. There we go. Replacements are now in. Uh, so if we look at this inventory regiment, this inventory regiment is 45,000 tons. Um, it's a more APT to get replaced. This one is 50, 45,000 tons. It's 48,000 tons. We've got basically three fresh infantry regiments, though. Of course, they are not perfect. Um, they are definitely in a better situation. So what we will now do is we'll move these out. So I'll move two infantry regiments of the of these out. Uh, I'll leave the artillery, and we will have two tank battalions. We'll have the division. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'm going to order for where is my mobility squadron? You're going to load up. You have two hundred thousand tank capacity. You're going to load up uh, the tank division. You're going to load up subunits. You're going to load up this infantry regiment, and you're going to load up this infantry regiment. Your that should be about hundred thousand tons of uh, ground forces you're going to take that over to alpha you're going to then unload those ground forces onto that moon 
And then we need to move over ground forces from Earth for further replacements. Um, yeah, we need we need Earth formations really, but we don't really have the APC capability. But no, we will be. I think I think that will be enough to begin the invasion process. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm not that scared anymore. Then we should complete their overhaul. That's fine by me. Ariel refitted. So did the Aberdeen. Uh, and so I will order then for Counter-Strike Group 1 to get underway. So now that we have the Block 2, uh, and then we will be in loading up and ordnance, and we will take that over to Alpha, and we'll go to Kareem at full speed. Uh, in terms of our stockpiles, we're, we are burnt through a lot of those stockpiles, didn't we? Uh, but no, Counter-Strike Group 1 is on the way. Well, let's go to Alpha. New hostile population contact. Yep, that's normal. Um, the cult fish is currently waiting there. Cash Group 1 is now above. Uh, the cult fish is heading to Alpha 3. Uh, we complete production of F4 fighters. We're going to see another 36 F4s to be produced. So 36 F4s on the way. Um, how much longer am I waiting on that group to be moved? Mobility Squadron 1. 62 days. 62 days before they arrive, and then we can begin the unloading process. Which hopefully shouldn't take too, too long. Uh, mechanized company trained at Earth, so we can begin to actually start shipping some of these off. Uh, which is what I will do. So three battalions, and then mechanized company. So that gives us a single infantry regiment ready to go. 50,000 tons of ground forces ready. Um, and I will order uh, this strike group. Uh, so these are Zukaku, say 25,000 tons each. We're going to have them load up the infantry regiment and then ship that over to Alpha and unload their ground forces onto the moon, and then we will begin the invasion from there. And uh, there, there's the Cuttlefish has arrived. There's my ability squadrons. Now my ability squadron 2 is on the way, and now we're going to be unloading all those forces there as well now. And unloading... Luthien class built. We can research research the Arashis. Uh, so now I will begin re-begin re construction on the SM-8Bs. Uh, let's start construction on immediately 488 missiles to be produced of the uh, Arashi Bs. The JNS Arrakis just finished up construction. Uh, we are going to hold off construction of any more of those for now. So that's fantastic news. Um, and then we are unloading. Okay, we've unloaded on to Alpha 3. So what we will now do with the first tank division, we will bring you into here. That gives us 213,000 tons of ground forces, 15,000 infantrymen, two tank battalions, um, and everything else that we need. So I will just make sure the field position is ready. So rear echelon, good. And then we will begin the shipping process. So we currently have naval ability squadron 1, 100,000 tons of, uh, of ground forces. Um... 200,000 in ground force. We don't have enough capacity actually to move everything over. You need to head to Alpha and you need to join up with Nova Mobility Squadron. That Nova Mobility Squadron. Fun class detected in Zitomir. Detected in Zitomir. That is bad news for us. The Shrew Squadron 2 is uh, still sitting there. The Flint is standing where it is. Uh, we will not respond. Uh, Mountain Breaker, that is. Uh, large, okay, large enemy force heading our direction. Kai Shrek Group 1, um, head to Zitomir at full speed, 17 days, head to Arrakis, 35 days. The Shrew Squadron 2, hold your position for now. Um, we want to get the mineral groups, uh, probably away here, but, uh, okay, Mount Baker, two flints detected as well. Uh, yeah, they're heading in our direction, looks like. Okay, the flint wants to get real close, does it? Real close in, okay. Uh, what's the distance from that border area? That's about 1.5 million kilometers. I don't think they can reach that that quickly. Uh, so, the show squadron 4, uh, squadron 3, uh, let's actually, no, what we'll do is next episode, um, this episode went on way too long. On the next episode, uh, we will retake Kareem, hopefully defend Arrakis, and continue our situation. We are in a financial deficit, however, our Galasite reserves are steadily ticking back up, um, and we are able to restart production of resources. We've gotten our first two Luthien-class uh, carriers up 
a 60,000 ton new class that will hopefully lead the way right, in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Please let me like, subscribe. Goodbye.